New words and examples. Absence. Absence is the state of something being away. There is an absence of sand in the hourglass. Aloud. If you say something aloud, you say it so that others can hear you. My father often reads stories aloud to me and my sister. Bald. If someone is bald, they have no hair. My oldest brother is bald. Blanket. A blanket is a piece of cloth that you use to keep warm or to sit upon. I laid a blanket on the ground so that we could have a picnic. Creep. To creep is to move quietly and slowly. The cat slowly crept down the tree. Divorce. Divorce is an event in which a marriage is ended. Divorce rates have increased in the past twenty years. Imitate. To imitate someone is to do exactly what they do. He imitated his favorite superhero by putting on a costume. Infant. An infant is a baby. The infant cried all night. Kidnap. To kidnap someone is to take them illegally. She was terrified to find out her son was kidnapped. Nap. A nap is a short sleep, usually during the day. I took a short nap because I stayed up late last night. Nowhere. You use nowhere to say that a place or thing does not exist. Unfortunately, water was nowhere to be found. Pat. To pat something is to hit it softly with your hand. I patted some lotion onto my face. Relief. Relief is a feeling you get when something bad or challenging ends. I felt a sense of relief when I heard the good news. Reproduce. To reproduce is to make something exactly how someone else did it. The children tried to reproduce their house using toy blocks. Rhyme. To rhyme is to have the same sounds at the end of a word. Humpty Dumpty is an old rhyme that children learn in school. Suck. To suck is to put something in your mouth and try to get flavor out of it. The baby sucked milk from her bottle. Urgent. If something is urgent, it is important and needs to be done now. He had to leave now. It was urgent. Vanish. To vanish is to go away suddenly. All the passengers vanished from the train station. Wagon. A wagon is a cart you use to carry heavy things. He used his wagon to carry some of his gifts. Wrinkle. A wrinkle is a line on a person's face that happens as they get old. My grandfather has some wrinkles on his face. Anna, the babysitter. Since her parents got a divorce, Anna has had to help her mother. In her mother's absence, Anna takes care of Grace, the baby. At first, Anna thought it was an easy job. One afternoon, Anna played with Grace. She meowed like a cat, and Grace imitated her. In fact, Grace reproduced every sound that Anna made. She took her sister outside. She put Grace in the wagon, but there was nowhere for them to go, so they went back inside. Anna put the infant on the floor and went into her room, but when she came back, Grace had vanished. Anna looked everywhere, but she could not find her sister. Maybe the baby had been kidnapped. Where are you? Anna called aloud. The situation was becoming urgent. She wanted to call her mom, but she didn't want her to think Anna couldn't do the job. Anna sat down. What was she going to do? But then Anna heard something. It was coming from her room. Grace? She got down on her knees and looked under the bed. She could see Grace's bald head. Grace had followed Anna into her room and crept under the bed. What a relief! Anna cried. She picked up her sister and patted her on the head. Her head was soft and had no wrinkles. Grace was sucking on a thumb and looked tired. So Anna wrapped her in a blanket and sang rhymes for her. Then she put Grace in bed for a nap. After that afternoon, Anna knew that taking care of Grace was not an easy job. It takes a lot of work to take care of a baby. New words and examples. Ail. To ail a person or group is to cause difficulty or pain. My brother went to the doctor to see what was ailing him. 
Ally. An ally is someone who agrees to help or support you. I was happy to find many allies who shared the same opinion as me. Boast. To boast is to talk about how good you are. We all became tired of listening to him boast about himself all day. Bounce. To bounce is to move something up and away from a surface after hitting it. Owen bounced the ball on the ground. Bully. A bully is a person who is mean to others. The two bullies always picked on the smaller, weaker kids. Carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are substances in foods like bread that give you energy. Carbohydrates like rice are a good source of energy for active people. Crawl. To crawl is to move slowly on your hands and knees. The baby crawled across the floor. Defeat. To defeat someone is to beat them in a game or battle. The champion defeated the challenger in the boxing match. Dial. A dial is the front of a clock. I looked at the dial to see what time it was. Dominant. When someone or something is dominant, they are stronger than others. The gorilla is one of the dominant animals in the jungle. Mercy. If you show mercy, you choose not to punish or harm someone. He asked his boss for mercy and to not fire him. Nod. To nod is to move your head up and down. I nodded my head as I listened to the song. Opponent. An opponent is someone who fights against you. On the field, our opponents were too good for us. Quarrel. To quarrel is to argue or fight. Billy quarreled with his wife about buying a new house. Rival. A rival is someone that is trying to keep you from getting what you want. The three rivals were all competing for the same job. Sore. When a part of your body is sore, it hurts. After lifting the heavy box, Mona's back was sore. Sting. To sting is to cause pain by pushing a sharp part into the skin. The needle stung my arm and made me say "ouch." Strain. To strain is to try very hard. Casey strained to lift the heavy box. Torture. Torture is something that causes you physical or mental pain. Greg thought that writing the essay was torture. Wrestle. To wrestle is to play a game where you try to push someone to the floor. My dad loved to wrestle when he was in high school. Dalton versus the bully. Dalton was a nice boy, but sometimes the other boys made fun of him because he was so tall and skinny. Dalton's biggest problem was Mitch. He was a bully who boasted about his strength. He quarreled with the other boys. Sometimes, if boys gave Mitch their lunch money, he would have mercy and leave them alone. One day, the boys learned about a special middle school Olympics. Their gym class was going to be in it. Many kids were excited, but Dalton thought it sounded like torture. That morning, Dalton ate plenty of carbohydrates for breakfast. He entered the gym and looked at the dial on the clock. It was time to begin. The teacher asked if they were ready. Everyone nodded except Dalton. I got stung by a bee. I need to see the nurse," said Dalton. He made it up so he wouldn't have to play. "I don't believe you. Get ready to play," responded the coach. First they wrestled, then they jumped, crawled, and played other games. But Mitch was dominant in every event. They strained all morning to defeat him. By lunch they were sore. Their entire bodies ailed them. They thought about how to win. They knew the last game of the day was volleyball. Kids who used to be Dalton's rivals became his allies. They wanted him to help them beat Mitch. Dalton was going to be Mitch's opponent. The game started. Every time Mitch tried to hit the ball over the net, Dalton stopped it. Finally, Mitch used all of his strength, but the ball bounced off Dalton's hands and back into Mitch's face. Finally, Mitch was defeated. New words and examples. Adolescent. An adolescent is a young person or a teenager. The adolescent was excited about getting a skateboard for his birthday. Aptitude. 
Aptitude is a natural ability or skill. He has a natural aptitude for water skiing. Compliment. To compliment is to say a nice thing about someone or something. Her coworker complimented her for doing a good job. Hinder. To hinder is to keep someone or something from doing something. All the traffic hindered me from getting to work on time. Journalism. Journalism is the work of collecting the news to put in newspapers or on TV. Before becoming a teacher, she worked in journalism. Jury. A jury is a group of people that listen to a trial and say if someone is guilty. The jury listened closely to the attorney before they made their decision. Justice. Justice is fairness in the way that you treat other people. People turn to the court system when they are seeking justice. Liberty. Liberty is freedom to do what you want. To many people, the Statue of Liberty is a symbol of freedom. Literary. If someone or something is literary, it is involved with literature in some way. He worked hard to create a successful literary career. Pharmacy. A pharmacy is a place where medicine is sold. My mother sells medicine to people at the pharmacy. Pill. A pill is a small object that has medicine inside. She took a pill for her headache. Presume. To presume is to believe something is true without being certain. Since he raised his hand, the teacher presumed he knew the answer. Privacy. To have privacy is to be away from other people. Please hang the sign on the door so we can have some privacy. Punishment. A punishment is something that one must endure for any wrongdoing. He was given a punishment for being rude to the teacher. Sensible. If someone is sensible, they make good decisions. It was sensible for her to save some money each month. Slice. A slice is a piece from something larger, such as a cake. The girl enjoyed a slice of cake at her birthday party. Sorrow. Sorrow is a very sad feeling. The girl felt sorrow after her best friend moved away. Straw. A straw is a thin tube that is used to suck liquid into the mouth. I drank the orange juice through a straw. Swell. To swell is to become larger and rounder. My sister's stomach began to swell after she got pregnant. Tidy. When something is tidy, it is clean and in order. Leon has always been a very tidy boy. Matthew learns a lesson. Matthew was a sensible boy. He always kept his room tidy and had a natural literary aptitude. One day, he hoped to have a career in journalism. The adolescent spent much of his time reading and liked having privacy, but his quiet personality hindered his ability to make friends. One day, Matthew went to the pharmacy to pick up some pills for his grandmother. He saw some boys leaning against a pole outside. One of the boys complimented Matthew, "I like your jacket." Another boy asked, "Do you want to go to Nate's restaurant?" "Sure," Matthew said. The boys walked to the restaurant. They were going to have slices of pizza. They ordered their food and drank soda with straws. They ate until their bellies swelled up. Matthew was having so much fun. One of the boys said, "Let's leave without paying." Matthew didn't want to, but he presumed his new friends wouldn't like him if he didn't. Suddenly, the waiter yelled, "Stop!" The two other boys ran, leaving Matthew there alone. Soon, the police arrived. Leaving without paying for your meal is the same as stealing," said the police officer. "The restaurant wants justice, so next week you have to go to court and let a jury decide your punishment." When he went to court, the judge asked, "Do you have anything to say, Matthew?" He said, "I feel sorrow for what I've done. Now I know that real friends won't ask you to do something illegal." The jury then let him have his liberty. But they made Matthew pick up trash as punishment. Much to Matthew's surprise, he ended up meeting some new friends. New words and examples. Abnormal. 
If something is abnormal, it is strange or not normal. Her idea of art is a bit too abnormal for me. Bamboo. Bamboo is a hard plant with thin branches and leaves. Outside his home, there is a lot of bamboo. Blossom. A blossom is a flower or group of flowers. There were colorful blossoms in the yard. Compass. A compass is a device used to tell what direction one is going. A compass is an important tool to have when you are traveling. Dialect. A dialect is a regional variety of language showing where you are from. People from the UK have a different dialect of English from those in the US. Dishonest. If someone is dishonest, they do not tell the truth. She was being dishonest when she copied the answers from his test. Dwarf. A dwarf is a creature from stories that often looks like a short, hairy man. The dwarf had a pleasant look on his face. Ecosystem. An ecosystem is a group of plants and animals in an area. The river's ecosystem not only includes fish but other insects and plants too. Fatal. If something is fatal, it causes death. They passed away in a fatal car crash. Impatient. If someone is impatient, they are not able to wait for things. Bob was so impatient that he could barely wait for the light to turn green. Leaf. A leaf is the flat green thing on trees or bushes. In the fall, the leaves on the trees change colors. Manuscript. A manuscript is an old book or paper written by hand. The manuscript was written over 150 years ago. Marsh. A marsh is a type of wet land covered with grasses and short plants. The marsh looked so lovely against the mountains. Patience. Patience is the ability to wait for something without becoming upset. Sue's patience was rewarded by catching her very first fish. Perfume. Perfume is a good-smelling liquid that girls wear. When she wore her perfume, everyone said she smelled great. Pond. A pond is a very small area of water. The ducks swam in the pond. Proverb. A proverb is a short saying that tells you something important. The proverb "egg on your face" means you've done something embarrassing. Pursuit. A pursuit is a chase. The dinosaur was in pursuit of the caveman. Recite. To recite something means to repeat or say aloud in front of a group. Katie recited the Pledge of Allegiance in class. Wilderness. A wilderness is an area where no people live. If you are not careful, you can get lost in the wilderness. Peter and the Dwarf. Peter was a hunter. One day he was in pursuit of a deer and became lost. He usually carried a compass with him when he went into the wilderness, but that day he left it at home. As he walked, the forest began to look different. He didn't see any bamboo. Instead, there were bushes with long leaves. The ecosystem was now very abnormal. Peter knew he was in the magic marsh. Now he was tired and thirsty. He was afraid. Being lost in the marsh could be fatal. When people entered it, they never came out. At last, he found a pond. Flowers grew around it. The blossoms smelled like the best perfume. He felt relaxed, so he drank some water and fell asleep. When he awoke, he saw an evil dwarf staring at him. What are you doing here? It asked. The dwarf spoke in a strange dialect. I'm lost, said Peter. Can you help me? Yes, it said. But Peter didn't know it was dishonest. The dwarf took an old manuscript from his pocket. It was a magic map. Just recite the words at the bottom. The dwarf explained. It will show you how to get home. Good, Peter said. He was impatient and quickly grabbed the map. He recited the magic words, and a line appeared on the map. He walked for many days, but never left the marsh. Finally, the map led him back to the pond. He walked in a circle. The dwarf was still there. Here's a proverb for you to think about. It said, 
When patience is lost, then so are you. New words and examples. Aboard. When someone is aboard a ship or plane, they are on or in it. They climbed aboard the kayak and paddled through the river. Bitter. When a person is bitter, they are upset with someone or a situation. He was extremely bitter when his computer crashed. Bullet. A bullet is a small metal object that is shot out of guns. Bullets come in different sizes for different guns. Devil. The devil is a powerful evil spirit in some religions. The church promised protection from the devil. Drift. To drift means to be moved slowly by wind or water. The large chunk of ice drifted in the water. Enforce. To enforce means to make a person follow a rule. Police enforce traffic laws to keep everyone safe. Fountain. A fountain is a source of water made by people. There was a beautiful fountain in the middle of the park. Harbor. A harbor is an area of water along a shore where boats land. There were a few small boats in the harbor. Inhabit. To inhabit means to live in a certain place. No one inhabits the ancient city. March. To march means to walk at a steady pace together with others. The soldiers marched in straight rows. Millionaire. A millionaire is a person who has at least a million dollars. He became a millionaire because he was smart with his money. Port. A port is a place where ships stop to load and unload things. The ship was being loaded with materials at the port. Sheriff. A sheriff is a police officer who is in charge of a large area. It was the sheriff's job to make the city safe. Startle. To startle means to scare someone suddenly. The loud crash startled the sleeping woman. Sweat. To sweat means to lose liquid from the body through the skin. Whenever I work out, I sweat quite a bit. Trigger. A trigger is the part of the gun that a person pulls to make it fire. The man had his finger on the trigger of the gun. Unify. To unify means to bring people or things together. With their good deeds, the children tried to unify the world. Vessel. A vessel is a large ship or boat. We toured the area aboard a luxury vessel. Voyage. A voyage is a long journey made on a boat or an aircraft. The astronauts took off on a long voyage to the moon. Worship. To worship means to like and honor a person, thing, or religious figure. Many people around the world worship in a church. Sheriff Dan. Dan was the evil sheriff of Ocean Town. Dan was as cruel as the devil. He worshipped money. Dan was a millionaire, but he paid his police officers almost nothing. The police were very bitter, but Dan didn't care. He only cared about his money. Every person who inhabited Ocean Town disliked him. Dan enforced cruel laws. Once, Dan even put his own brother in jail for throwing a coin into a fountain. Sometimes he pointed his gun into the air and pulled the trigger. He didn't want the bullets to hit anyone. He just wanted to scare people with the loud sound. Finally. The people of Ocean Town decided that they had to get rid of Sheriff Dan. With their understanding, the crowd sought to unify the town. They marched to Dan's house. He was startled by the sight when he ran to the door. When he opened the door, the crowd jumped on him. They used a rope to tie him to a chair. Dan yelled, "Get your hands off of me! I'll put you all in jail for the rest of your lives!" The crowd didn't listen. They carried Dan to the harbor and put him aboard a vessel. Dan was so scared that he began to sweat. He begged, "If you let me go, I will give you all my money." The crowd said back, "Sheriff, we don't care about your money. We know you will never change. We're sending you on a voyage to the middle of the ocean." 
The boat drifted out of the port, and Dan was never seen again. The people voted for a new sheriff who was kind and fair. New words and examples. Apprentice. An apprentice is a person who learns how to do a job from a skilled person. Mark is an apprentice chef at the restaurant. Assure. To assure someone is to tell them something is true to make them less worried. He assured the boss that the building would be done on time. Bandage. A bandage is a piece of cloth used to stop bleeding. If you cut yourself, please get a bandage from the first aid kit. Bleed. To bleed is to lose blood. If you are not careful, you will cut your finger and bleed. Bond. To bond with someone is to become friends with them. The women bonded after several hours of conversation. Chef. A chef is a person who cooks in a restaurant. Tom is a chef at the restaurant near my house. Crown. A crown is the hat worn by a king or queen. The crown is made of gold. Departure. A departure is the act of leaving a place. They were excited about their departure back home. Diligent. If someone is diligent, they work hard and are careful. Craig has always been a very diligent person at work. Emperor. An emperor is the leader of a group of countries. The emperor Julius Caesar was in control of ancient Rome. Fiber. Fiber is a thread of a substance used to make clothes or rope. The mat was made from tiny fibers. Horrible. If something is horrible, it is very bad. The assignment was horrible. I hated it. Impolite. If someone is impolite, they are rude. Roger is impolite to everyone he meets. Kneel. To kneel is to put one or both knees on the ground. Daryl got down on one knee and asked Nina to marry him. Luxury. A luxury is an expensive thing that you do not need. We stayed at a luxury resort for our honeymoon. Massive. If something is massive, it is very big. The wheels on his truck were massive. Panic. To panic is to feel so nervous or afraid that you cannot think clearly. Everyone panicked when the house caught on fire. Priority. A priority is something that is more important than other things. My priority is to get good grades in school. Robe. A robe is a long, loose piece of clothing. Many people wear robes in the morning. Scold. To scold means to criticize one angrily because they have done wrong. Jesse was scolded by the teacher for not paying attention. The helpful apprentice. There was once a small restaurant. People said that the best chef in the world worked there, but the chef was a horrible person to work for. He was impolite and scolded his workers all the time. The chef had a young apprentice. The apprentice's first priority was to make the best food in the world. He was happy to have a good teacher, but he didn't like the chef. The boy was a diligent worker, but the chef scolded him more than anyone else. Then one day, the chef got great news. The emperor wanted to have dinner there that night. He was very excited. He was working very fast. And he made a mistake. He cut his hand with a knife, and it started to bleed. The apprentice gave him a bandage, but the chef still couldn't cook. The chef started to panic. The apprentice tried to assure him, "Everything will be okay," he said. But the chef was still afraid. Then they started to work together. They began to bond. The chef told the apprentice what to do. The boy cooked a great meal. As soon as they finished. The emperor arrived. He wore a beautiful robe made of soft fibers. He also had a massive crown. Everyone in the restaurant kneeled when the emperor came in. The chef and the boy brought out his food. The emperor was used to luxuries. Would he like the food? The emperor loved the food. After his departure, 
the chef was very proud and very thankful to his new friend, the apprentice. New words and examples. Anticipate. To anticipate something is to think that it will happen. Carrie anticipated the arrival of her baby. Barrel. A barrel is a round thing that you can keep liquids in. There was an empty barrel outside the house. Beam. A beam is a heavy bar. Modern skyscrapers are made with several beams. Casual. If something is casual, it is relaxed or simple. You can wear casual clothes to the party like jeans. Caution. Caution is care and attention in order to avoid danger. Please use the power saw with caution. It is very dangerous. Contrary. If something is contrary to something else, it is the opposite. It isn't warm outside at all. On the contrary, it is quite cold. Deliberate. If you are deliberate, you do something on purpose. Bernie made a deliberate attempt to injure Andy. Dissolve. To dissolve something is to mix it into a liquid and disappear. I dissolve the pill in a glass of water. Explode. When something explodes, it blows up. My new radio exploded when I plugged it in. Fasten. To fasten something is to close it or put it in the correct place. Elizabeth fastened her seatbelt. Germ. A germ is something that makes you sick. Germs are on everything that you touch. Kit. A kit is a set of all the things needed to do something. Is there a first aid kit in your office? Puff. A puff is a little bit of smoke or steam. A puff of smoke came from the burnt match. Rag. A rag is a small towel. Please use a rag to clean the dust off the table. Scatter. To scatter something is to make it go in many places. I accidentally scattered all of my pills. Scent. A scent is a smell. Julie enjoyed the scent of the flowers. Steel. Steel is a shiny gray metal. The new apartment building was made with steel. Swift. If something is swift, it is fast. The swift horse easily jumped over the hurdle. Toss. If you toss something, you throw it softly. He tossed a coin into the air. Triumph. Triumph is what you feel when you win or finish something. He raised the award in triumph at the end of his speech. The ice cream cone explosion. One day, John walked to his uncle's ice cream shop. When he reached the sidewalk, he caught the scent of ice cream cones and anticipated eating some ice cream. Sam opened the door. Uncle John had a new steel machine. What is that? It's a cone maker. I built it from a kit. You take flour from the barrel and put it in this pan, Uncle John said. Then add water and sugar here and stir it so the sugar dissolves. Next, you fasten down the beam. Uncle John wanted to look casual. Buddy was excited. He made a few swift motions and turned it on. There was a puff of smoke, and then cones came out the other end. Is it hard to use? Sam asked. On the contrary, it's easy to use. Want to try? Sam washed his hands with caution. He made a deliberate attempt to keep germs out of the dough. Soon, Sam had his first cone. He smiled in triumph. Uncle John tried to turn the machine off. But it just kept making cones. Sam and Uncle John put them on the counter, then on chairs. Before long, cones scattered all over the floor. They tried everything to stop it, but it wouldn't stop. What are we going to do? He said. Kick it! Yelled Sam. Uncle John lifted his foot and gave the machine a kick. It made a funny noise and exploded. They were both covered with dough. Uncle John laughed when he knew Sam was okay. He tossed Sam a rag to clean his face and smiled. I guess we have enough cones now. New words and examples. Affair. An affair is an event or a thing that happened. My wife and I attended a formal affair over the weekend. 
Assembly. An assembly is a group that is together for the same reason. The students had an assembly to talk about their interests. Bless. To bless is to ask God for protection or help. The angel blessed the newborn baby to keep it safe. Cereal. Cereal is a food that you mix with milk and eat for breakfast. Cereal is a fast and common breakfast food enjoyed in the U.S. Cheerful. If someone is cheerful, they are happy or feel good. The children were cheerful because they didn't have to go to school. Diameter. The diameter of a round thing is the length across its center. The diameter of the tree was about 22 centimeters. Exploit. To exploit something is to use it for greedy reasons rather than good reasons. The company exploits their workers and makes them stay 12 hours a day. Famine. A famine is a long time with little or no food. The farmers couldn't grow any food on the dry soil, so there was a famine. Harvest. A harvest is the act of collecting food from farming. They had a lot of wheat from the last harvest. Merry. If someone is merry, they are very happy. They felt merry because the weather was great. Nut. A nut is a hard seed or fruit that comes from some trees and bushes. To eat a nut, first you have to crack its shell. Pardon. To pardon is a way to ask someone to repeat what was said before. Pardon me, teacher, but could you repeat what you just said? Pharaoh. A pharaoh was a king in ancient Egypt. The pharaohs ruled Egypt for thousands of years. Ripe. When a fruit is ripe, it is ready to be eaten. The cherries were nice and ripe. Roast. To roast something is to cook it in an oven or over a fire. Mom roasted a turkey for the holiday dinner. Routine. A routine is a way of doing things that is the same every time. My father's daily routine includes shaving right before breakfast. Scheme. A scheme is a plan or design. Mickey and Minnie came up with a scheme to solve the problem. Slim. If something or someone is slim, they are thin. Look at my new cell phone. It's very slim. Stove. A stove is a device used to cook food. Our new stove helps us to cook food much faster than before. Theft. A theft is a criminal act that involves someone stealing something. The theft of his TV took place when he was at work. Why monkey has no home? For five years there was a famine. The farmers asked people to bless them, and finally they had a good harvest. Since there was now plenty of food, the pharaoh decided to have a party. The party was a happy affair. For five days, they had a huge feast. Monkey was very happy because of the famine. He was very slim. He wanted to eat a lot of food. When he arrived at the feast, hundreds of long tables were filled with food. There were nuts, bowls of cereal, and ripe fruit. He could also smell hot roasted meat cooking on the stove. The assembly of animals was merry. However, during the feast, Monkey thought of a scheme to exploit the pharaoh's kindness. He decided to steal some of the food and then eat it at home. All the animals were cheerful. They didn't notice that Monkey was hiding food. After the feast, Monkey took the food to his house and ate it. He repeated this routine every day for four days. But on the fifth day, the pharaoh had a surprise. He was going to give all the animals a home. Monkey was very excited, but when he arrived at the pharaoh's home, he could not get through the door. The diameter of his waist was wider than the doorway. He was too fat. Monkey asked the pharaoh to forgive him for his theft, but the pharaoh said no. Pardon? Asked the monkey. He didn't understand why the pharaoh was being unkind. Everybody else will have a home now, but not you. Now you know that greed gets you nothing," explained the pharaoh.